Hello, screenwriters. Welcome back to Five Questions with a Screenwriter. And the screenwriter I have with me today is a very, very special person. I was so happy she agreed to do this with me. Uh, it's Asha Flowers. Me and Asha, we go way back. We've done projects together. So this is like so cool to talk with my friend and screenwriter, Asha. Hello, Asha. Hello. Hi, Patrick. Hey, screenwriters. <laughs> Thanks for having me. <laughs> It is my pleasure to have you. And uh, I know we talk about screenwriting all the time, but now uh, we're going to talk about screenwriting in front of the world. <laughs> all right. I feel a lot of nervous smiling. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right, Asha. Uh, it's five questions. Are you ready for question number one? Yes. All right. So... What are three screenplays every new writer should read, in your opinion? Oh, damn. Okay. <laughs> okay, so... Um, I'll say one that I read recently was Rosemary's Baby. And that was a really great script. Um, I was working on writing like a horror. Um, and so I went back to that script and read it for the first time. And I think that that's a really great script for new writers to read. Um, this is super embarrassing, <laughs> but I don't read like a lot of like famous scripts like that people would know. Like I read other people's work and uh, do a lot of writing, but not, I can't think of anything outside of that one right now. You know what? It's okay. Oh, wait, no. This is a okay. <laughs> I can't think of this one. Is a safe, this is a safe space. Uh, we do not shame. We do not shame uh, our screenwriters for not reading screenplays. Okay. Thanks. Thanks for not shaming me. It is important, <laughs> though. I've been told a lot to read screenplays. So don't be like me and not be able to answer this question. Um, another one though is uh, Little Miss Sunshine uh, for character development and relationships and that, so that one. And I'm gonna leave it there for now because I don't wanna like embarrass myself trying to dig for another one. <laughs> but like, thanks for not shaming me, Patrick. <laughs> Never, cause okay, I'm gonna be honest, right? Okay, so. This is a uh, confession time on five questions with a screenwriter. So I know now everyone knows me as the guy who reads screenplays to love screenplay, but I was not always like this actually. I, uh, I remember I hated reading screenplays because you know, I don't know. It was just like, uh, felt so boring. I was like, why do I have to read this when I can just watch the movie? That was the old mindset. But then once I started to, uh, read screenplays, I realized, okay, I could learn a lot from this, different techniques. So yes, uh, it's okay if you don't read a lot of screenplays, but it is um, a good habit to get into, especially if you want to get serious about screenwriting. Before we move on to question number two, uh, I do want to say one thing that you put me on to, uh, you put me on to like a Shonda Rhimes. I remember you told me about her masterclass. I'm not sure if you remember that. Do you remember? I remember that, yeah. Yeah, so... Um, you put me on to her master class and I watched it and it was just so great. So I went back, uh, I read Grey's Anatomy, the pilot. I was like, OMG, I would have to, that pilot was just so tight. The pacing was just so amazing. So yeah, so uh, thank you, Asha, for putting me on to such a wonderful pilot. Yeah, of course, I'm gonna have to go read that one too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Question number two. What is something a screenwriter will never learn in a book? Oh, dang, that's such a great question. Um, okay, so I feel like there's lots you can learn from books, like almost everything. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I will say one thing that I have learned more outside of books than from books is writing dialogue. I feel like writing dialogue, like really um, like dialogue that is like alive and like natural, I feel like 
learning that you don't learn it in a book. I feel like you have to get out and talk to people and listen to people and really pay attention to the way that people talk. Um, and that's something that I haven't had as much luck with learning in, from a book. Yeah. Yes. And then, um, you know what? This whole oh. entire... Go ahead. Wait. Can I say one more thing? Of course. Okay. I feel like a better answer <laughs> is telling like telling your story like telling a story that is really from here you cannot learn that from a book you actually literally have to go out and live and draw from experience you can't learn that from a book okay that's that's my answer that's my final answer <laughs> cool. all right um all right question number 3 okay this one you know why um what happened you were gonna say something. I, I was, but you know, I want to save it uh, till till later. Actually, so yeah, because like you mentioned about dialogue and uh, something triggered into my head as far as conversations we've had before. So uh, I wanna I wanna save it a little bit. Um, question number three. This one might be tough. You know, I realized something when I um, so far I've interviewed about like uh, seven or eight screenwriters. And this question, for some reason, is always the toughest one. And I can see why. So, all right. What is the greatest character arc you've seen in the story? Okay. The greatest character arc I've seen in a story. Shoot. Um, okay. So, recently, or not, actually not recently, I'm going to just draw from one of my favorite films ever. <laughs> my favorite film, my favorite, one of my favorite books. Actually, no. Yeah, yeah. One of my favorite books, Their Eyes Were Watching God. Do you know that that book in that film? No, actually, I've never um, heard of it. Okay. It's my favorite, favorite, favorite. And the main character in that book. Oh, oh the book is written by Zora Neale Hurston was also one of my favorite authors. And it's about this woman named Janie who goes from kind of living somebody else's life to living her own life. Um, and it's literally like the basis for all of my scripts. Like all of my scripts, I feel like a lot of the characters um, are trying to get free, which is what this character, what her story is all about. Um, and I would say that her arc is the greatest because she goes from being young and doing what everybody else wants her to do. Um, and she gets married really young at like 16 or something to an older man. And it takes her like 20 plus years to, and for that man to die for her to live her own life um, against the, desires of everyone around her. And so that is um, an arc that I feel like we see, um, or I feel like I've seen a lot just in my experience with like uh, women kind of center stories. It's, uh, it's universal, um, but um, a lot of the books and films that I read are like women getting free. And so I feel like that character and her arc is a great, example a really great example of that universal getting free kind of theme and arc so yeah what's the name of it again their eyes were watching god halle berry yeah, stars in the film mm -hmm. do you recommend um i read the book is based off on first or watch the film I mean, I know people usually say, read the book first, read the book first. I don't think it matters really. The book, um, the movie does a really great job uh, of representing the book. And the book, oh, it's such a book. Maybe read the book first. Oh my God. Maybe <laughs> read the book first. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You know what? That's one of the cool things about doing this show is uh, I get so many cool recommendations of stories that I've never heard before. So I'm going to add this to my list then. 
You're gonna enjoy it. It's it's great. It's uh Halle Berry and Michael Ely. It's Oprah executive producer, I believe. Yeah. Oh, it's a beautiful film. Yeah. All right. Let's move on to question number four. Oh, I think I might know the answer to this. So this is kind of cool that you get to share it uh, with the rest of the audience. Okay. What was the first screenplay you wrote? And what was that writing process like? I think the first screenplay I wrote was a feature called Georgia Rules. And um, it was... It was in film school. I wrote, I, I did it for a screenwriting class, and was that the first one? I think it was. And uh, that process, I remember it not being as hard as it is now. It was for like an intro to screenwriting class, and so I just kind of was like, oh, "Okay, great. We we could write whatever we want." I wrote, you know, uh, a story that I felt like was very much. Um, something I would want to write about. So there was that freedom. And I didn't know a lot about screenwriting and all of the many rules and all of the, you know, things. So I didn't feel bound by anything. And so I feel like that was the first and only screenplay, the <laughs> feature screenplay that I've written that was so, so much of a breeze and so easy. Um, but yeah, it, when I look back at it now, it's exactly the type of screenplays that I keep writing. It's about a woman who gets free from um, a, a binding situation. Um, she feels very bound by family and obligation and just, you know, work and everything. And she basically packs a bag and pieces, pieces out to Paris, which is my favorite place ever. So I would write that screenplay. <laughs> So yeah. Since this was your first uh, screenplay, how did you like go about um, crafting it? I know it was an introduction uh, class. Was there? Did they like teach you like the whole process from beginning to end, how to craft it, or how did you learn that? It was over ten years ago, so I'm having a hard time remembering. But I feel like the class was very loose. It was very like loose and there wasn't that much instruction on structure or anything like that, that I remember. Oh, I hate saying that because I was literally <laughs> in the pool paying top dollar. But like, I think it was great. The class allowing us to just go and just write. Um, but yeah, I don't feel like there was a lot of uh, structure there. In fairness, it was 10 years ago. So. You know, <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was really almost like 15 years ago. It was, it was a while ago, but yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. And this is my favorite question out of the five questions. So uh, question number five, final question. You get to plan and go on a hangout slash non-romantic date with your current main character. What does that date look like? Oh, wow. Um. We would probably hang out in Lamert Park. <laughs> we would probably hang out in Lamar Lamert Park, go and get some food, maybe some Jamaican food, and then hang out at the park nearby. <laughs> you know what? Um, that makes perfect sense. You know, uh, stay in that world. Let us know about that character. I love it. And then, what like a what's a current TV show or film you've watched recently that? that you would recommend to our viewers? Oh my God. Okay, so I just finished up a show called Undone. Have you heard of that show? No. Oh my God, Patrick. <laughs> oh my God, Patrick, you're gonna lose your mind. Do you have um, Amazon Prime? Uh, I did, I recently just canceled it. <laughs> oh, I understand. Um, <laughs> This show, however you can find it, you got to watch it, Patrick. I'm telling you, it's going to blow your mind. I've never seen anything like it. Okay, um, if you can, if you can, give me the elevator pitch of that show. Okay, okay so it's an, it's an uh, adult animation, like technically, it's uh, uh, rotoscoped. And it's about a young woman who goes on a journey 
through her own mind, through the universe, and through her past to arrive at transformation for herself and her family. You know what? Uh, that sounds like my cup of tea. As you uh, as you know, I love that you know weird uh, science fiction type of stuff. So okay, un- it's called Undone. Undone. It's gonna blow your mind. You're gonna binge it. It's amazing. I've watched it twice now. I watched it once, and it blew my mind the first time. But of course, whenever you watch something the second, third, you know, picking up new things. This work is brilliant. It's by the makers of BoJack. Horseman, the creators of Bojack Horseman. Oh my God. I'm going to watch it again. It's amazing. I can't stress that enough. It's mind bending and it's weird and it's hilarious. And it's also will make you cry. Yeah. (laughs) All right. All right. Um, Okay. This has been five questions with screenwriter Asha Flowers. Asha, it's been a pleasure to talk screenwriting with you as always. Uh, Before we go, is there anything you'd like to share with our viewers? Anything, yeah, just anything in general. Um, One thing that I would say to your viewers and to screenwriters, you know, new screenwriters, beginning screenwriters, write what you want. Don't follow trend and, you know, try and stay on trend and try and, you know, if especially if nobody's paying you, write what you want, write what you want to see, write your story. It comes easier that way. You'll stay dedicated and committed to scripts that way. Um, and it'll be more interesting. <laughs> all right. All right. Well, um, thank you for sharing that, um, Jim, you know, with, uh, with us, but before we go, um, I do want to share a little story that, uh, that I have with Asha. <laughs> so. So, you know, um, so I met Asha at a, a film festival uh, here. Wait, was it a film festival or, or a volunteer event? It was a film festival. Okay. So as you know, right, um, well, if you don't know, I meet a lot of, you know, filmmakers and screenwriters. I remember, you know, I'm, I met Asha and Asha was telling me, yeah, I'm a screenwriter. And me, I'm like, yeah, sure you are. You know, <laughs> and, then, and then, you know, and plus like, plus, you know, I read a lot of bad screenplays, right? So I remember Asha was like, uh, you know, I think or either I asked her to uh, read one of her screenplays. But anyway, uh, she sent me this. I'm not sure if you remember. It's called The Fair. Remember that? I do. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So so I read it. I'm like, oh, this is good. So like, so ever since then, uh, I'm going to tell you, Asha, I've been a fanboy of your uh, screenwriting. And then you are like, you know, uh, just like one of my favorite screenwriters. And then anything Asha drops, I want to read it, right? So it's like, it's it's one of those things where like, if she drops something, uh, let me read it. Normally, you know, uh, when, you know, people like, you know, asking me to read their screenplays, I'm like, okay, sure. Yeah, I I get to it. But if it's the Asha Flowers script, it's on, it's on deck. So I just want to say, Asha, I just, you know, uh, (laughs) I'm sorry to like, you know, I'm I'm fanboying over you um, over here, but. Yeah, just continue uh, creating art. And then you're one of the um, many reasons why uh, I love screenwriting and being a screenwriter. So thank you, Asha. Pat, dang. Thanks, Pat. You always had, you know, I swear, like, you made me feel more confident about my writing. I do remember that. I do remember that script. And I do remember sending it to you and you being like, but you really hyped me up. Like, yeah, I remember that. That was earlier on, you know, in the earlier times. <laughs> yeah. Yes. All right. Yeah. Okay. All right, Asha. Um, I wish you the best with the new project you're working on. Thanks, Asha.